Okay, guys, for language today, you get to be the teacher and you get to um, correct your students' mistakes. So in your packet are some daily language reviews, and we've done these in class before, so this is good practice for you to think about grammar, think about spelling, think about punctuation and capitalization, all those things that we've been working on in English all year long. This is just practice to keep you strong. All right, so I want you to make sure you have the daily language review that has week three, and it says Tuesday on one side, it says Thursday on the other, so make sure that you're doing the same one that I've got here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is correct these sentences. Um, so you can read the sentence, and then you need to think, what do I need for punctuation, capitalization, does it make sense? Guys, I found seven mistakes in sentence number one. Can you find seven mistakes? Okay. And then for number two, I found only three. So see what you can find in that sentence. All right. And then the next section, um, and guys, go ahead and write seven and three on here so you know what you're looking for. Okay. And then we're going to circle the word that is not spelled correctly. So there are four words here. Three of them are correct and one is not correct. So circle the one that is not correct. Okay, same with number four. You've got three that are correct and one that is not. Okay, and then this sentence, you're going to read it and just determine, is it a fact or is it an opinion? And then write your answer there. That sentence is the sentence of fact or an opinion. On Thursday, you're going to, not on Thursday, I mean on the Thursday side, um, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing, correct the sentences. I found four mistakes. On number two, I found six mistakes. Making sure I can read that right. Okay, and then you're going to circle the word that is not spelled correctly. There's just one group of words. Okay, one word that's not spelled correctly. And then you want to write an antonym. Do you guys remember what antonyms are? Remember, synonyms mean the same. Antonyms mean opposite. So write an opposite for each of those. Okay, that's it for language today. So be really good teachers. Correct your students, okay? We'll see you later.